What's up, guys? It's your DJ coming at you again with another Scooter Mod update. Check this out. This is pretty cool. Bam! Screws all the mess. But anyway, yes. Yeah, see that right there? That is going to be the platform for my... It's going to be just a luggage platform as well as a, a place to mount my spare a battery. Uh, this is a Razor EcoMart, EcoSmart SUP scooter. And uh, I want to be able to add more range to the scooter. I want to at least get 40, 50 miles. So, if you go back and watch my other videos, I modified this scooter, the Razor EcoSmart SUP. This is the 2020 version. Uh, with a, um, this is a 20 amp hour battery I got right here, a brick. It goes down here. But I'm going to get a second battery and mount it up here. Bam! <laughs> Pretty sweet, huh? Yeah. Um, now, you guys are probably thinking, that guy is crazy. That looks goofy. Okay, understand, this is not going to be on there every day. This, this is just for when I want to go on extended rides. If I want to go on an extended ride, I'll have another battery that I can mount right there. And you guys are probably asking, how did you make that mount? Ha <laughs> ha. I'll show you. Check it out. All right. I was going brainstorming trying to figure out how to make a place to mount a second battery. I thought about doing the bike rack thing, but that could be quite complicated as you can see. I got some holes back here, but I was trying I'm trying to simplify everything. And I just started pondering through my brain. I was like, "Well, I got this down tube right here for the scooter. That's steel right there. Steel. Solid steel." So I started thinking, "Well, maybe I'll get this bracket here. I got this from Home Depot." Put it on here like that, put a couple of u bolts behind it to hold it in place, and then I can use this like as a shelf to set the battery on. Then I started thinking, ah, maybe I can make it a little simpler than that. Okay, check this out, guys. This is pretty cool. So instead, I opted for a u bolt itself. This thing costs like a dollar twenty-five. Hang on, let me see. So I got the receipt right here. It was like a dollar nineteen or two dollars and something. Uh, at Home Depot, or whatever. No, I think it was more like a uh, dollar eighty-seven for this U-bolt, and had the bolts on it too. But anyway, now I bought some lock nuts. So I figured I said I set it up here like this, and I was like, oh, that might work. So I put the bracket on it and everything, bolted it down. I put some uh, uh, pieces off of a spare inner tube behind it so it doesn't just scar the frame, and also will give the metal traction so it doesn't slip. So I got it really tight on there. It could probably support. 35 to 40 50 pounds on there and that's what I wanted so I got it cranked down real good I put regular bolts on there then I went back sorry about that guys I put regular bolts on there then I went back and put some nylon lock nuts behind the regular bolts so it's not going anywhere I mean a kid could stand on there I could stand on there probably I wouldn't do it all the time but I'm just saying so adding a little uh 10 pound battery or 11 pound battery 13 14 pound battery 15 pound battery is no big deal Okay, but I'm just going to opt for another one of these. It's a 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery. And I'm going to get a parallel port and merge them both together. So I'll have a 48, a 20 amp hour battery down here. And when I want to, mind you, I'll have a battery up here when I want to go on extended rides. Okay, I think it's pretty cool. So I wanted to share this with you guys. Those of you who uh, may want to, uh, you know, like me, you don't have a lot of money to buy uh the baddest scooters out right now, or just simply, even if you do have the baddest scooter out there, you may want to modify yours and make it a little bit more, uh, you know, make your scooter a bit more um, uh, utilitarian, is which is what I'm trying to do. I like to be able to carry stuff, so I'm trying to get it, get it out here so you can get a clearer look. But yeah, yeah, it doesn't look good. I, I, I mean, as far as, it's not for style points. I, I care less about style points, okay? I want to be able to haul stuff around like a book bag or whatever. You see, I got the basket and all that stuff on there. You know, I like uh, to have utility. I mean, I think it's, I think that's just makes it that much more fun. But look, you can put a box up there, strap it down, whatever else. Bam! Carry all kind of stuff up there. Look at that. If you had a little kid, he could sit his butt. You could make that a platform for a seat, and you could have your feet back here. If you got a little four-year-old, five-year-old kid, he could sit there and ride along with you. <laughs> He'd be looking at your legs, but still. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to share that mod with you. I, I've been thinking about this all week. I think it's successful. I'm happy with it. I think it's even better than having it over the wheel because I think it's more secure. And again, I believe this will support 
Again, this is the steel down tube, not aluminum. Good old-fashioned steel frame here by Razor. It's a steel down tube. And uh, I'm going to use this on my other scooters too if I want to add a second battery, which I probably won't. This is going to be my long-range scooter right here when I want to go on a 40, 50-mile trip. Maybe even 60. Who knows? We'll see what how many miles I get when I get a second battery. But anyway, uh, it's successful. It's a successful mount. Yeah, it doesn't look cool maybe, but that's okay. Again, I'm more into utilitarian scooters right now. I'm not trying to be cool. I got motorcycles for that. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to share that thought with you guys to show some of you out there that are into modding your scooters and you want to be able to carry around uh, luggage or add an extra battery with a secure mount on there. Look at that, guys. I think that's pretty sweet. You know, or that could even be another place to put your foot if you want. You can have one foot down here regular and one up there. You know? I'm not going to do that probably, but it just gives you different options. At the same time, it opens up uh, different ideas. Again, how I did that mod. Hang on, guys. Hang on. <laughs> I like to share ideas because that's what makes the world go wrong. How I did the mod was simply go to a Home Depot, like a dollar or something for this right here. Go behind the scooter like that. And it comes with a little bracket too. Let me show you. I think I got one over here. I bought a number of them just to make sure I was able to be able to do this. Here's a bigger one there, but it comes with uh, this little bracket here, okay? Comes with the bracket, the bracket slides on there. So, uh, like that, the bracket slides on there like that, and you bolt that down, you know, whatever, whatever. Hang on, like so. The bracket on there, crank it down, and then you can use wood, whatever platform you might be able to come up with. Uh, I just happened to see this down, downstairs. This was like a battery holder or something like that. But anyway, it looks great. I had to cut something off of it right here. But anyway, yeah, that's the start of a beautiful mount. All right, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. And uh, 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 if you want to make your scooter more utilitarian, there you go. Later.